Alright guys, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I did a video last week on spine tilt at impact and uh, I, I addressed that one a bit more towards the driver and just tried to get my point across that it's not that the head falls back, it's um, the hip going forward that gives us this tilt that we'll see a lot of the great players on tour doing. Um, had some great responses, uh, comments and I had a few on Twitter asking me um, is it the same for an iron? Um, and th there are slight differences, but uh, one thing you've got to remember is the iron shaft is slightly shorter, and a shorter shaft will actually encourage a bit more steepness in the swing. So um, I would like a little bit of tilt with an iron, certainly. And with the iron being a slightly shorter shaft, um, you're going to get a bit of a downward component. But um, to, to give you the answer of how much you should have, um, it's, it's not quite as generic as that because what you have to factor in is what is happening with your ball flight and what is happening with your contact. Um, if, if you're getting quite steep, and so that would probably be associated with really chunky divots. Not always, the, di the divot doesn't tell the whole story, but uh, if, if you feel like you're hitting down on it too much, um, getting quite a, you can get quite a low ball flight or you might be cutting across it and, and it could be spinning out to the right um, that one a little more tilt is going to help but if, if you're somebody that's thinning it a bit and the contacts quite shallow and maybe you're making no divot and you're struggling to actually get down into the ball doing trying to get this more is actually gonna add more width into a swing that doesn't need it so again it's actually trying to prescribe it to your ball flight to your golf game and play around with it a bit and this is kind of an example of sometimes you do need to go and see a coach who can actually give you a definitive answer of what changes are actually going to aid your performance rather than just trying to get it to look a bit better so um, the relationship really feel the relationship between your left hip and your left shoulder if both are on top of each other they're likely to be quite steep or it will, it will be a steepening thing into your swing if the hip is a lot further forward I mean that's going to shallow your swing a bit so again work out what your problem is before you just add it into your golf game because what you don't want to do is add a component that's actually going to make the issue that you have worse because you're kind of act, adding a bit of an ingredient that's not required so I hope this helps, uh, get some comments down below and I hope to catch you soon.